graphical scaling on Linux has always been a mess. Whether we're talking fractional or integer, some toolkits handle it well, then there are the applications that don't use toolkits. And then there's the issue of mixed DPI, a different DPI for each monitor, which is a mess for a whole different set of reasons. And from my understanding, Xorg physically couldn't support that. But on Wayland, it's about to get a whole lot better. Not for mixed DPI, that's still a mess. But for fractional scaling, WP Fractional Scale V1, new protocol for fractional scaling. Now, when I was planning out this video, this didn't say merged yet. This was still very much in the process of getting merged. So when I looked at it, it said this right here. Thanks this person here, all of the requirements for this protocol are met. I will merge in a few days. A few days had passed and now it's merged previously titled WP Surface Scale V1. Now, technically, Surface Scale is a more accurate Wayland term, but nobody outside of Wayland developers has ever heard of a Surface, so Fractional Scaling is a much better name. This protocol allows for communicating preferred fractional scales to surfaces, which in combination with WP viewport can be used to render surfaces at fractional scales when applicable. Now surface in this case basically just means an application window. I run a 1080p 27 inch screen. I don't need to use scaling, but I've been under the assumption that Wayland scaling was just better. And a lot of people don't know this, but Wayland scaling has been completely fake. You might be saying, well, I'm using 150% scaling and it works great. You're not, you think you are, and you're being lied to. So what do you think happens if you scale to 150%? If you say you take the application window and scale it to 150%, you would be wrong. What actually happens is Wayland can only tell a toolkit to scale in integers with WL output. So say with a GTK application or a QT application, it will be scaled to 200%. Now, when a toolkit does the scaling, it can do everything nicely. It can properly change the font sizes, properly change the way that things generated in code are being rendered. Obviously, you know, rasterized images are always going to look a bit blurry, but things like font should not be blurry whatsoever. But clearly the window isn't that big. So what's being done then is the compositor, which has none of that internal knowledge about how things should be scaled downscales the application to 150%. So taking all of that nicely scaled stuff that looked good and making it a little bit blurry. Now the amount of blur depends on the font you're using, the way it was originally scaled, but it is always going to be a little bit blurry. Now like many of the issues that exist on Wayland, users have been talking about these things for years now, but on the current GitLab that Wayland exists on, the oldest issue is from about a year ago. UI slash text scaling information for toolkits. UI toolkits do not have a way to query environment for preferred text and UI size aside from a blunt integer scale factor in WL output. This makes it hard to achieve aesthetically pleasing desktop look and leads to horrible hacks like fractional scaling, the thing we just talked about, that ruin any chance for crisp text rendering. This issue does not have answers yet, but is intended to work as a shelling point, a selling point for scaling discussions. And then there have been further issues like this one, number 47, which builds on that and start talking about ways this could potentially be done. Now, unlike some of the Wayland issues we've discussed where the Wayland developers have no idea what the regular user actually wants, this isn't like that. Many of these developers also have wanted fractional scaling the issue is that none of them know exactly how they want to do it, and over the course of these issues and over the course of this merge quest, there have probably been like maybe 10 different ways to actually provide this fractional scaling information. We have this comment here from Simon Sir in regards to W or Roots. Just for reference, regardless of what happens with this proposal, I'm likely to reject in WL Roots a proposal which redefines the coordinate space for all sizes sent slash received to clients. The insane added complexity is just not worth it. There is this whole separate protocol 
basically doing the exact same thing, and this whole other one that's hooking into an existing protocol, but adding some extra functionality into it. All of these are different approaches, and there are so many others in here that it led to months and months and months and actually years, if you go before this protocol, of discussion on how this should be done. Unlike, say, Apple devices or Android phones, we have a lot more, you know, limited and locked down of a device space. On Linux, we don't have that luxury. You can have a 13-inch laptop running a 4K display. You can have a 50-inch TV at 1080p. You can have a 32-inch ultra-wide, and you need a fractional scaling method that works consistently and works well on all of these different methods and all of these different toolkits that Linux is going to be using. So you also need support from the downstream compositors and the collaborating toolkits as well. Now KDE was pretty simple to get on board because I believe this issue right here was made by a KDE collaborator and was made in response to functionality KDE wanted to bring into their compositor, bring into their desktop. And to the best of my knowledge, KDE already implemented a draft version of this protocol. Now, as for the other desktops and other toolkits, getting those on board wasn't that big of a deal either, because their users want access to fractional scaling. There is a merge request open on WL Roots and also over on Sway. Neither of these, I believe, have been merged just yet. No, they have not. They're both either open or draft. There is one still open over on KDE. This is, you know, fully implementing it, getting everything completely ready. There is one open for a random compositor you've never heard of called J. This is just a guy who wanted to make his own compositor. And hey, he made his own compositor. But also, one that might surprise you. One open over on GNOME. Now, it hasn't had a ton of discussion, but likewise, it hasn't had any negative discussion. So maybe we'll see this merge into GNOME sometime in the near future, but for GNOME, it's not going to be as beneficial as you might think it's going to be. Anyway, we'll get into that in just a moment. There's also an implementation over for Qt Wayland, for libsdl, for winit, and also for the foot terminal. Now... When it comes to things that aren't using a toolkit like the foot terminal here, they are going to need to implement it themselves. So for a lot of applications, scaling just will not work altogether. But most other things are going to be good. But there's one place where it's going to be an issue, and that place is with GTK. So from two separate people involved in GNOME and the GNOME toolkit, Everything I've read is that in GTK4 they aren't going to do it because it's going to lead to extensive refactoring throughout the GTK codebase. It doesn't mean that GTK5 might not see it, however. You'll note that nobody said we will never do it, just not in the GTK4 cycle. And from two years ago, this is from Ibasi, who's a fairly big GNOME developer, but do keep in mind is two years ago, so this is before this protocol was made. Fractional scaling is implemented entirely inside the compositor. GTK only has integer scaling factors, and that won't change for GTK4. Now that this protocol exists, maybe it's going to change, but if it is going to require that big of a refactor, it probably isn't going to happen, and you probably will be waiting for GTK5. And considering there are rumors that GTK5 might end up being Wayland only, I would definitely hope that it supports Wayland properly. But this could put GNOME into a weird location where technically it does support fractional scaling, but the toolkit it uses doesn't support fractional scaling. So I think it's highly unlikely that GNOME merge request is going to be merged anytime soon. So it's not like tomorrow you're suddenly going to have good fractional scaling on Wayland. It is going to take a bit of time for things to be merged, for things to propagate out to the compositors, propagate out to the toolkits, propagate out to the applications, updating to the latest versions of the toolkits. But as things go on, we are going to start seeing good fractional scaling on Wayland, and I am so happy that more Wayland issues are being addressed. I just want to make the Wayland haters as angry as possible, because it's going to get to a point where you have no reason to hate Wayland anymore, and you just sound completely ridiculous. 
but let me know your thoughts. Do you care at all about Wayland? Do you care about fractional scaling? Or do you just use a sensible resolution where scaling doesn't matter? I would love to know. So let me know all your thoughts down below. And if you like this video, I'm going to go and like the video. And if you really like the video and you want to become one of these amazing people over here, go check out my Patreon, subscribe, Stello Barrow Pay, link in the description down below. I've got a podcast called Tech Over T. I've got a gaming channel called Brody Robinson Plays. That's going to be it for me. And I forgot my outro.